Previously on The Longest Day, Andrew Beef Johnson and me, Andrew Tofu Cotter, had played five holes in East Lothian as we looked to play 18 holes on 18 different courses up the east coast of Scotland in a single day in an electric car, the BMW iX3. Remarkably, although perhaps because I'm getting a shot a hole, I'm two up after five as we head into five. That's the longest drive so far we've done. Here we are in five. Sun is shining, wind is blowing. Feeling good. Believe in links. 18th hole, 456 yards. Is it your honour? No, it's yours. So it's going to be painful how far apart those drives are, both down the middle or thereabouts. <laughs> yeah, but I'm there for zero. It still looks quite a long way to go to me. The danger is with people walking past seeing a film crew and thinking that this guy must be a decent player. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm some sort of competition winner. That's never going to make the carry. Oh, the comeback is on. Did I even reach the water? Uh, yeah, it splashed. Oh, did it? Well, if I've got in the water right, then that's not far away from making the carry. No, about 10 yards, unless. Oh, I'm going to Van der Velde it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I was just thinking that. <laughs> I've forgotten I'm wearing bad socks. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Reveal my gnarled feet and awesome calves. Phil Mickelson style. I'll tell you who would be in there straight away. A couple of Labradors I know. This one's sure I'd never get invited back to leave him. I'm doing some DeChambeau calculations on water mass and what it's going to do to the face of the club. Do you know what the maths equation is? Hit it hard. It's just, it's, you're going to hit it, you're going to get wet, mate. Shall I take off my nice... <laughs> yeah, I would. <laughs> now, I'm, now I'm not wearing a collared shirt, so I'm going to get chucked out before I get an attempt to play it. Oh. I mean, it came out. Yeah, it's not bad. Did I maintain my dignity in any way? See, I seem to be in a slightly worse place now than I was. I'm going to have to take a drop now and drop it into a divot. <laughs> oh, touch. Yeah, great shot. Thank you, cheers. <laughs> I might concede this hole. Well done. Four to win it. <laughs> Bye. Four shots. I'll tell you what, though, that's some finishing hole. Well, I will always have fond and damp memories of leaving and beef getting back to one down as I make an utter clown of myself. Where to next? To London. To London. I can't believe you haven't gone for a break and roll. I'm hoping someone's going to bring me a superfood salad at some point. No, not really. <laughs> This is Lon London. Golf. London, yeah. I thought it was actually London. No. That's London, bruv. Uh. <laughs> bruv, we're mad ting in London. So I've become your caddy, effectively. So as a caddy, I get 10% of winnings. Is that 10%? <laughs> yeah. So here we are, 18th hole at London. Yeah, we all right? Different hat, you notice, yeah, for the sun. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah, different hats come out. Different attitude. Same swing. That's fine. Might even play. It's running. <laughs> angry, angry man. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Pretty outrageous. Oh no. Oh, you got a putt to win the hole. Even with munching a wedge about 20 yards short of the green. With the glory of the handicapping system, this to go two up. It's outrageous behaviour. 
I love handicaps, la la la. <laughs> I enjoyed that round of London. <laughs> Drive to Ely Golf Club. Do you know what dogs are like? Don't say small dogs. No, chows. Chows. <laughs> it just, I like it because it looks like a miniature bear. If you're on a first tee and all these people here are watching and you, you topped it, would you care? Oh, there it is. Yeah, shot, mate. Hey, mate, I see your ball is absolutely f***ed. I think it's in the divot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so this is actually my first ball. It's definitely the same one. This is going to be a linksy shot. In fact, I'm, I'm just changing my mind midway through. That's what all the best players do. It's just going to be off the back foot. Hooded face. Punchy. So therefore... Two, <coughs> two. <laughs> oh, hang on. He's leaked out a little bit. Distance is all right. Distance is good. That's fine. 30 uh, foot off. Line not so great. Yeah, I know, but you know, you take what you can get. <laughs> You've just got to be a little bit more positive like me, yeah? <laughs> Oh, too strong. Settle, settle. Hit the pin, hit the pin. Do something. Stop. Hmm. Disappointed stance. That's got to go. Oh. Uh, I'm going to give you that for your four. Now it comes. Part. Now it comes. Now it comes. No, it doesn't. Just carries on straight through. <laughs> hey, yeah, that's fine. I've seen your putt. Yeah, no, listen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna concede that hole because I, everybody knows that's not my original ball, and I've tried to pull the wool over your eyes. Drive to Anstruther Golf Club. Okay. Anstruther, and it's demon par three. Voted yeah. the most difficult par three in Britain, 2007. Now all you can do is just pray. Yeah, that's got to be good though. In play at least. <laughs> <laughs> I might putt this. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> what a show we're putting on. <laughs> I can't buy it through that. They're man. leaving. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh. Don't applaud a bogey, that's terrible. <laughs> Boom. That's a birdie, right? <laughs> Heckle him! <laughs> oh. That's the craziest hole I've ever seen. Without a doubt. Imagine playing it in bad weather. Drive to Crail Golf Club. I mean, I can't believe I duffed the chip. F*** that up. Say goodbye to your adoring hobble. Do you reckon it makes a racket if you put it in sport mode? Oh, come on. And it does the dropping down through the gear sound of it. So this is the 14th hole at Crail, the start of our back nine. I mean, it's just it's another stunner. Good distance, finally hit golf shot. Thin to win. I can't see that land, where is that? Yeah, you're good, mate. Good. Shot. We don't have to put some golf courses in some beautiful places around here. Got it, if you hit it. Oh no, it didn't come, it was straight. Pop, man. Thank you. Oh, oh that's, a the half. <laughs> that's a beautiful two. <laughs> well, what Anstruther took away from us, Crail has given back. Humiliation, then jubilation. Right, off to King's Bar. It is quite quick, you know. It is, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, get your attention. King's Barnes. You must know King's Barnes well. Yeah, usually I play terrible at St Andrews, terrible at Carnoustie and come here and have a low one here for some reason. Oh yeah, good shot. Oh, golf shot. Almost my first shot of the day. Yeah, man. Long, <laughs> long putt <laughs> coming up. Is it in there? Yeah, it is, yeah. Did you forget about this bunker? Oh, massively, yeah. <laughs> That's harsh, man. That is harsh. It's got a chance, you know. Misreading them. Good for distance. Yeah, lovely. Right, so you're going to have to hold this now, I think. I'll give you that. <laughs> Damn bunkers, man. Lovely. Thank you. Great two part that. Right, King's Barnes, done. Let's go. This place has never been good for my liver. <laughs> oh. oh, it's tickled me, man. This is the one to play at half four in the morning. Yes. This is the Jubilee. Yeah, we're going to play the first. I remember playing here years ago at the St. Andrews Link, so I want to bring back some memories. Just for a change, I've gone miles left. <laughs> oh. oh, I followed you. Tremendous. <laughs> this is definitely a sunburn day. Trouble is, I mean, obviously now I just get a massive headburn. <laughs> Why have I got a feeling my ball is in here? It ain't going to be too much further the way I hit it. No. Anyone see it? <laughs> this is why I never play well where I say the Andrews. That could be good. Go on, go on, go on. Ah, oh, great shot. Oh. oh, yeah, he's back. Going. Oh. Right, for a birdie. So we are as we lie. Oh. Look at this. I'm telling you, you definitely have a party mat at home. <laughs> right, so the Jubilee is done. What next? Possibly the most famous hole in golf. <laughs> Let's go and meet the crowds on the 18th of the old course. I've conceded this hole already. I'm just going to walk up with you. That's the, the tiger line. I weren't backing out of it. People say, why is he not hitting a tee shot on the last? And the answer is because, <laughs> because, and it's quite a complex answer, but the answer is, is because I'm a basket case. No, I can do various things in front of crowds, but hitting a golf ball is not one of them. Right, down in two from here for your three. <laughs> oh, it's a long old way. That was a beautiful oh, line as well. I can't hit that much harder, man. Oh, it's a turn. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> anyway, listen, that's your hole because I'm, I, I lose it out of sheer embarrassment and shame. So, <laughs> so we're back to two, and that's uh, 13 holes played now. Well played, have you enjoyed it? Yeah, it's always a special place coming here. Perfect, I'm gonna wave them on. Come on, here we come, let's go. So that was Fife and the home of golf, where I met some more dogs and my golfing now failed me. Next time, we move further north to our final destination in the courses of Angus and Aberdeenshire. I'm somehow still two up, but most importantly, time is beating us both. To watch another European Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.